Yeah, like I like I'll pray with you if you need prayer. I, like, I I'm not a, a type of person who judges you and won't pray with you if you need prayer. Um, you know, I'll, you know, you don't, you're not supposed to just judge people. You know, especially like by the race or religion. Like every week, or typically I don't have to study vocabulary words, but sometimes if it's just in my heart, I will study the Bible. Like or you just, or you just heard those words, I guess, before. No, I've heard the word attribute in church. I, I remember one Sunday, um, my, the um, pastor, my uncle, he said to um, that you want to have godly attributes. And, and he was talking, he went in very deep about how um, we have the attributes of man and how we need to have the attributes of God and how we need to work on that so we won't have the attributes of Satan and stuff and you know like church and, and people around you you know they miss you and like even the small sort of things it can make you happy so you know just keep God in your mind and it basically tells you everything you need to know the essentials of life you know living so how you need to live um not really I just need to read it more <laughs> You need to know God, man. Yeah. Again, like you just need to pray and talk to Him and praise Him. You know, if, if there's any, if there's one thing God loves, it's praise. You know, He's, He's, you know, He created us. And I've had a kid in my class. He he didn't judge people, but he was racist, and was I did he a not. Bully? Um, you was, was he just racist? He's just he he was just racist. But, you know, I, he was my friend, but when I started to notice that he was acting like this, I, I, I didn't want to hang out with him, and I just kind of was like... Separating yourself from him? But then I heard him talking about believing in more than one God and stuff, like, you know, Zeus and Poseidon and all that. And I felt sad for him. I was like... So you went help him? I, I prayed for him. Because I, I was like, these kids, they... I started going to church the, the second like week. We um we had like a prayer thing we did. And basically, you just like you went to a certain place in the whole in the uh in the um in the building that we're in. You could just go anywhere, and there was one man on the microphone. And it was going through like all these speakers, so you could hear him good. And he was just praying with us, and you could pray on your own too. And basically, I just like cried my eyes out and. And just basically told God I was sorry for everything I'd done, and then from then on, like church was church was just happy. And it, it's not necessarily a place to get away from home. I mean, it is, but like it also it's like another home. Whenever you get to know God, and at that moment you repented. You you I, there was someone in the Bible, and he and these people in this city they were they were um they were being all bad and stuff and he went to see because God sent him there to go tell him and then like when he saw how bad they were he, he, he like ripped out his hair and then stuff and he was all upset and when he and then he he said something like to repent to the Lord and then he started to repent he broke out and cried and repented to the Lord and so did the whole city so that was a that was a repent a cry that you wanted to be saved by the Lord. Nobody's perfect, so you have to accept. You, you know that's how I got saved. That's how I got saved. Yeah. I actually have a comprehension. Um, I the dude the dude that was talking he said something about do you think you can basically he said do you think you can be perfect and I said I do. And he thought he thought like I meant that I could be perfect, but I didn't. I didn't know that's what he said. I thought he meant like, do you want to? Do you want to be like? I guess like I took it as in if you want to be helped or prayed to, because the way he worded it. And then he was like, oh, so you think you could be perfect? Because he thought I was being rude, and then he realized like, no, I wasn't. So the other dude, the other dude, um, came and got me, and then after service was over, he he prayed with me, and then I repeated the gospel. And then he said more prayers, and then after that, I got saved, and we started going crazy. Awesome. And then, after I got saved, you you said you were younger whenever you got saved, but whenever you get saved, you can see, like, brightness. Like, now you can close your eyes, and, and it's, if it's dark outside of your eyelids, it may, when you see through them, it's dark. 
whenever it's daytime, you know how you can close your eyes and you can still see the daylight. Whenever it happened, it, it wasn't like light. It was, whew, it was like wings, baby. It was coming in. It was white, too. It was just bright as day. Yeah. And there will be white. a day where we are perfect. Either when we die and go to heaven, that's when we're in our purest form. Or either when Jesus comes back and he raises us from the dead if we're still living. If we're still living, then we won't be, we, we'll just be caught up and transformed. But if we're dead, he'll raise us from the dead. And, and, we'll, be, and, we'll, and we'll be given new bodies, basically. In do, that. You know, do you know that we're not going to have wings in heaven? Have you ever thought about that? I like to wonder. Um, I like to wonder a lot of things. I'm not sure. I, I was told that we, we won't. It's only, it's, I don't really know. I just know that most of us supposedly won't have wings. I don't know. Have you ever seen, have you ever like seen God or like an I've, angel or anything? I've never seen God, but I've seen how prayers are answered. The Holy, my Holy Spirit showed me how that is. It was either in a dream or I, or I just had a vision of it come to me. And prayers are answered in these lights and they go up to heaven. There are these bright lights and it goes up to heaven. And little did I know that someone else who had near-death experience, their spirit when the, or soul actually, when they were rising up to heaven, they saw these lights. And they asked Jesus what the lights were. And it ended up being um, it, prayers that were sent up to heaven. So always know that Jesus will answer your prayers. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank you.